vagina is a mystery. What should it look like? How should it smell? And is it okay that it makes that crazy noise when I do yoga? Time to investigate. What's up ladies, I'm Madge the Vag, and today I'm uncovering five things about the vagina that seem unusual, but are totally normal. Are those curtains uneven? I kind of like it. Do all pink fortresses look alike? What I'm saying is, can the curtains be uneven? What's the deal? This is the deal. First of all, kudos for even looking at your girlfriend. Looking all the time. Love it. Just like it's not uncommon to have one breast that is slightly larger than the other, it's not uncommon to have, you know, a labia minora or a small lip, so to speak, that's slightly longer uh, or, you know, darker than the other. It's completely normal. Okay, Dr. Angela, I'm just gonna ask, is my vagina passing gas? No, your vagina is passing air, so to speak. Why does this happen? Air is getting trapped within pockets. The vagina is composed of folds. You know, technically speaking, they're called rugae, R-U-G-A-E. And then it's like your vagina sighing and exhaling. Whew. Oh. Thanks for a good time. So I was making whoopee and I think I squirted. Hello? Mom? My friend's vagina is like a juice box. You poke it with anything and it's squirting all over the place. What is that? Is that normal? That's fantastic if your friend's vagina is squirting. It just means that she, you know, was hitting that spot, that G spot, so to speak, and uh, she's completely uninhibited and is allowing her body to release. It's not urine, but it's, you know, it's the juice. So she's not peeing? No, she's not peeing. And I mean, sometimes, you know, if you leak a little bit during sex, it's completely normal. I mean, the relationship between the bladder, you know, the urethra, the vagina, it's all very intricate. What is that? Is that normal? Here's where we get down and dirty. All right, I like dirty. My gash has a splash, Doc. Should I be worried? Discharge? Yeah, oh yes, that's what it's called. Okay. But the thing with discharge is it's completely normal and it's like one of the most unspoken about things that occur with women. Everybody has discharge. Is all discharge bad? The vagina is like a self-cleaning oven. And so discharge, as long as it doesn't itch, burn, or smell bad, it's completely par for the course. What should a normal discharge look like? Depending on where you are in your cycle, you will notice that sometimes your discharge is more copious in amount or just, just like much more of it. Sometimes it's thinner. That's usually around the time of ovulation. Sometimes it's thicker. But again, if it doesn't itch, burn, or smell bad, it's great. Oh, are these clean? <sighs> no, but not bad. Should I be odorless? You know, this is what I always tell women. Vagina is supposed to smell like vagina. As long as you yourself are not offended, it's probably fine. It's your scent. Scent of a woman. We should, we should coin that. What happens if my beaver smells like a skunk? A clam smells fishy. Girl, then you need to have that checked out. Oh, so that's bad. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want your girlfriend smelling bad. Can I just spray stuff? No. There's something going on, whether it's an STI, that sexually transmitted infection, or whether there's just an imbalance in your vaginal pH. Yeah, and there's nothing to be ashamed of. So just talk about it. I mean, there's nothing that's off limits when you go to the OBGYN. It's like talking to one of your girlfriends. Well, ladies, we've closed the curtains on that case, which, by the way, don't have to match. If anything else mystifies you about your muff, comment below or drop an email in my box, and I'll investigate.